Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of work on my concrete candles. If you haven't seen my last video, I recently started a uh, business selling soy wax candles and I also make my own jars. So these are made out of concrete and as you can see, I have kind of everything laid out here on um, this table. This is where I work on them. Um, and I had about 20 of them that I had made um, last week and I let them sit for about three or four days and now I'm sealing them. So what I do is I seal the inside with a toxin-free um, sealer and I go into coats. So I like to start and kind of um, put one coat on each one of the vessels and then repeat the process onto the second um, coat just to make sure that the inside is all um, covered and I didn't miss, miss any steps or spots, especially on the bottom area where the candle's gonna be lit. Um, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. And I also got some new molds here that I'm gonna be using for jewelry boxes and they're super pretty. These are way easier to bend than the other ones that I use for my concrete candles. These are much more sturdy. So I'm a little bit um, worried that the concrete is gonna make it lose its shape because as you can see, it's not completely round but I'm still gonna give it a try and we're gonna see how these turn out. Um, the, I don't know if you can see like the shape of it, but it is actually beautiful. This one's one of my favorites probably. And I've heard that the lid doesn't really close up. It kind of just like sits on top, but I guess we'll see how it works. This one is much smaller, still very cute. So yeah, with the three of them, I'm, ex I'm excited to use them. I also have one big one over there that I wanna make a bigger candle. Um, so I'm excited for that one as well. So let's go ahead and get started. The ones that I have here, I have already done the first coat. So I'm gonna just keep bringing them from the table where they're sitting on and then we'll move them over there and make some concrete jars. I always use gloves just because the pigment on the candles um, sets in about a couple of days and when you touch them, they might just leave off a little bit of a trace um, of the color on your fingers. And then when you touch a new candle with a different color, you might live, leave a little bit of um, that color. And also your fingerprints. Candle is very recent. Sometimes you can leave a little fingerprint on it and I have learned that the hard way. So I definitely don't want that to happen. But let me just go ahead and go grab some candles. All right, so the sealer that I use is from Earth Safe Finishes and it's gonna be linked down below. But basically I just like to use it on the inside of the jar because um, it leaves a little bit of a film and I really like the matte look and the soft look of the um, of the concrete itself. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just do it in the inside. And I don't have like a particular way on how I go about it. I try to do it outwards like this, but then if I see that it's not sticking well or that the um, that the sealer is like drying up on me and not going into all the spots, I just go in a circle and then go ahead once again and bring it outwards. I know it's like super hard to see from where you are, but um, this is like, <laughs> there's nothing really to see. It's just a very light coat of the sealer. And you just have to make sure that you cover every spot and don't leave um, any spot without it. I've noticed that a little bit of this goes a long way. So I don't have to waste a lot of sealer or use a lot of sealer which is really good because it's not cheap. I think the sealer itself is kind of inexpensive, but then when you add like the shipping cost to that, it's just not, not cheap. And I'm gonna put these here. I also coat my jewelry trays or my coasters. So I have round ones that are gonna be just for jewelry. And then the hexagons are gonna be for coasters. There were originally gonna be both for coasters, but for some reason, the round um, molds have like a, they don't have like a flat surface on the top. So it makes it really hard for you to like lay a glass of water or anything. So obviously I'm not gonna sell that if it's not gonna be flat and cost someone to drop their glasses or something. So I was like, well, they still look super cute as a jewelry tray, which I was gonna sell them like that anyways. Um, I probably won't make too many of those just because I don't know if anybody's gonna actually be interested in using them, but I do use them. I have them on my nightstand and they are very cute and they work pretty well, so. This dries up pretty, pretty fast. So um, if you do about like five or six of them and go back to the original one, it'll probably be dry by then. I just, uh, I just like to think that if I wait a little bit longer, things just will work better. 
I know there are other methods of sealing concrete. I really haven't tried any other. Um, I follow this um, girl on Instagram and sorry, on YouTube and her name is uh, Calafia Candles and she suggested this one. I was kind of looking for something that was also taxing free and she said that this one was approved for concrete candles. I kind of read a little bit about them on their website and they do sell other um, other like items for candles as well. They sell um, some pigment and just some auto products that you can um, look into if that's something you're interested in. So I was pretty intrigued by their company and decided to just give it a try. I'm sure there are other methods that are probably a little cheaper and maybe easier, but I just didn't want to deal with a lot of, um, I don't know, with a lot of like chemicals or something that I really didn't understand what I was getting myself into. So I decided to get, give this one a try and it works pretty well. These are a little bit tricky, like the coasters, because the um, sealer likes to hang out on these crevices and it's hard to like push them out, but the more that you brush, the better it kind of um, the better it kind of goes. And I'm seeing that this was actually pulling some of the paint and it's uh, staining this one. So I think the brown one wasn't done. I guess there was a little bit of moisture on that one and it pulled the paint. So my advice is that after you make the concrete candles, let them sit for as long as uh, for as long as you can. Like if you don't have to seal them or if you don't have to um, ship them out right away, I would just wait as long as you can before you put the sealer in. And even afterwards, I would also wait as long as you can to actually pour the candles in. So these are all of them right here, old seals, and just I'm gonna leave them for about three to four more days before I pour my candles into them. And like I said, maybe I'm just gonna pour as um, orders come in, but this is how they look like. And the most time that you wanna leave them um, kind of curing by themselves is after, after you have already made them um, before sealing. So I left them about, some of them were there for a week and some others were there for three to four days. The least amount of time that I will do before sealing them is uh, three days if I must like do them um, if I must seal them right after but since I'm launching I definitely wanted to have um, most of them ready to go by next week and just kind of focus on pouring my vessels um, pouring my candles in so this is how they look like and I just got in more of the concrete jar mold and um, order some of the hexagons as well so I can make them all at the same time because I'm having trouble keeping the same color uh, since I'm making them separate, so maybe that'll fix that. I did want to show you guys the other mold that I'm working on. I just got this this one in um, for the sashes that I'm making, but I, I'm still waiting on materials for that. But this one right here is one of the ones that I'm most excited for. It's going to probably be a three wick uh, small candles or just a little pot planter. So I want to try this one out today. And I don't know how much concrete it's gonna take or if it's gonna work because I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this plastic, but yeah, I'm gonna be pouring those in right now and then probably waiting uh, three or four more hours before I show you guys the results. It's for the jars that, from Amazon that I use. And I just wanted to show you guys how they come. So they come in this pretty boxes, which I probably use again just because I like to reuse materials if I can and they fit my jars pretty well so this is them you can see how dirty the ones that I already used are compared to those let's get started I have my mask on and then I'm gonna get some gloves so these two are probably gonna be the same I just have a little bit of um, the mustard yellowy color it's like it's supposed to be like a beige or sand um, but sometimes it turns out mustery depending on how much I put on. And I really wanted to make um, this one because I'm so excited for it, but I just don't know how much it's gonna take. So I just made two of these and I'm gonna see 
how far it can get. Okay, I think I scrapped this off to the best of my ability and we're still missing just a little bit to top it off. Um, so I'm gonna go get some more concrete and just really try to finish it. I think I'm gonna make enough to see if I can make one of these and then start by topping this one off. So it's been about three hours since I put these um, jewelry boxes in, but I did that cup on the back and then I also did this cup and this coaster like 30 minutes after I did the other ones. So I'm gonna wait a little bit. This will be probably the first one that I unmold and I'm super excited to see what it looks like. Um, I'll probably keep this one for myself to be honest, but I'm very disappointed on these jewelry boxes because it doesn't look like they um, kept their shape. So, I don't know, we will see. We'll see what they look like. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. I honestly did not expect it to look this good. Um, let me put it right here. It looks amazing. Um, even like the um, difference in color on the bottom, because of how I made it, um, it just looks very nice. This um, is probably just moisture and water. The part on the bottom definitely looks um, less strong than the top and it's kind of bent right in the center a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is very cool. I love the shape of it. I really, really like this. The size of this, it just looks a little bit bigger in camera, I think. And I think some people have it in a bigger um, size. I personally really like this size and I love the color and how it turned out. I think it would be so cute as a candle or even like a pot uh, planner. It kind of all went into the inside and there's a hole right there. I don't know if you guys can see. i try to take the light. There's like a hole. Okay, so I'm gonna wait like 20 more minutes to unmold the two vases, um, the two jars that I made, but I'm super happy with these. And I even like like the difference in the pores that I did. You can definitely see the first one here, the second one, and then the third. 
Um, of course, I would like it to be just to um, just the same color or even the two colors because that would looks really cool right there. But um, I need a bigger um, place to pour and to mix my concrete that is not like on a on a plastic cup because I don't I just don't have enough space. All right, you guys, it is morning time. I know it's super dark in here because um, winter mornings are just like this. Um, but I just woke up and I wanted to show you guys the uh, things that I unmolded last night. I didn't show you um, when I pour them just because I thought the video would get too long and repetitive. But I made uh, three more cups or two more cups. And then this is a vessel that we made last night together or yesterday. Um, and this one I made like right before I went to sleep. I'm going to bring it over here. And it has like texture on the sides, but it kind of looks really cool. Um, the color is a little bit lighter than the other one, so they're different. And at first I was like, I need to find um, a cup that I can make those vessels in just one cup. But at the same time, this line that the two colors create, is kind of really cool. I really like it. I also made this jewelry box as well. And the details on this um, boxes are just unbelievably pretty. And the next day you can definitely fit the um, lid a little bit better you kind of have to like rotate it until it fits there it is no i'm just putting it wrong what happened i was just putting it in there it is okay so it is just so gorgeous so i have this one in pink made the um, beige one yesterday so i'm just going to leave these here for a couple more days. Um, I made one of the small ones because this is probably one of my favorite things. Um, it is just so beautiful, but this fell instantly when I unmolded it. And then the other part, there's like a part missing here of the bottom of the jar. So I think I have to leave it on for way longer until the concrete's kind of stronger for me to bring out that um, little detail in the top. Otherwise, I don't think it's gonna work for me. I mean, I can't just like super glue it and sell it. <laughs> but yeah, that's where that's what we're working with. So we're gonna make some more jewelry boxes today and uh, probably gonna try to make that one that keeps breaking on me. <laughs> 